Hi, I'm Tori Shack, personal fitness trainer with over five years experience. I'm gonna help you get fit for your wedding by going over five common workout mistakes. The first workout mistake, or the most common, would be over-exercising. Most people go in when they start a work workout regime and just go balls to the wall, okay? And they burn out like crazy. The dangers to over-exercising are muscle fatigue and failure, um, dehydration, and uh, injury. You're gonna throw off your imbalances of electrolytes, and you're going to throw off all your hunger cues, and you're, you're gonna be imbalanced as far as your hunger is concerned, so you're more likely to binge eat, as I'm sure some of us know, those late night binges, so don't overexercise. So another workout mistake would be starting out too strong, too fast, too hard. Don't go gung-ho, all right? You've got plenty of time. It takes a while for your body to change and for the weight loss to start and for your body to get used to going from the couch to athlete. It's not gonna happen overnight, so don't try to make it happen overnight because you're just gonna get discouraged and you're gonna give up. Some common mistakes people make are is failing to properly warm up and cool down. When you are at the gym and you're about to start weight training, don't go into a cold. Go ahead and get on the, the elliptical or the stationary bike or the treadmill Get the blood pumping and flowing, so go ahead and warm it up for five to 10 minutes. Get the blood moving. You don't need to stretch prior to working out, but you do need to get the blood moving and warm up those muscles. After you are done working out, you do need to stretch out. So go over to that stretch mat, uh, do some nice yoga stretches, yoga poses, stretch out nice, long and lean. And if you know how to do this, or if you've maybe seen it at the gym, grab one of those foam rollers, roll out your IT band, um, lengthen and long and feel good. One of the most common workout mistakes is lacking variety in your workouts. Do you remember in the very beginning of the year how gung-ho you were with your New Year's resolution? About losing the weight, getting in the gym, going crazy gung-ho? I bet you that lasted about a month, two months maybe, and then you burnt out and you're like, ah, oh, I'm done. The biggest reason for this is burnout. People don't know how to change up the routines. You need to take a class, Take a spin class, take a tread and, tread and tone class, go hiking, go onto the beach, go biking, um, you know, get out there with the family, go play soccer, do something different. Exercise does not need to take the form of being in the gym and lifting weights. It can take any type of form. We're out there getting the blood flowing and pumping. There are huge benefits to changing up variety. Your body will become accustomed to one type of workout if you continue to do the same thing for a four week period and your body will start, stop changing after that period. So you're gonna to have to change your workouts, up, your workouts out um, every four weeks anyway, in order to keep your body guessing and your muscles changing and your body reacting. Exercise mistakes people make is not eating properly before and or after workouts. A lot of people don't eat prior to working out because they think they're gonna throw up or because they think that they're gonna you know, lose more weight by burning off all the cake they ate the night before by skipping breakfast. It's just not the case. When you don't eat breakfast in the morning, your body is on a fast, okay? So you're, you don't have any energy to work out. You can only go so long and so hard and so fast. So it's counterproductive. You need energy to fuel your muscles in order to go ahead and get that maximum caloric burn. So you gotta make sure you eat at least an hour before you work out. Something small, just something small and light, like you know, maybe a little piece of bread with some peanut butter, some complex carbohydrate and a, and a light protein. And then after you work out, you wanna make sure you eat within an hour after you work out also to refuel the muscles so that your body doesn't go into the muscle stores and eat the muscles that you're just building up in the gym. Thanks for watching. If you want any information on these topics covered, please click the link below or any of the links above. Please also rate, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any additional ideas for workout videos, please send them to requests at mahalo.com. Peace out.